we're in uncharted territory. So uh, whatever comes with the decision, whatever comes with the new CBA, I mean, we'll all have to deal with it. Uh, it's something that we internally have kicked around every scenario. You know, if it, if it, if it happens the first week of May, the, you know, the last week of May, the first week of June, so third week in June, you know, after the fourth. So we, we have a plan uh, in place and do have an idea if they do uh, apply some workout days before training camps and things like that. So we, we, we try to go through every possible scenario uh, just so that we have a plan in place because that's what our players are accustomed, accustomed to. They're, they're accustomed to having a detailed plan, plan laid out in front of them uh, so that they, when they do come back to work, we, we pick up right off, pick up right where, right where we left off. A couple other coaches, I think Coach Belichick, Coach Reed have said, at this point they're going to have to cut down what they do, like cut down the playbook. Do you guys anticipate doing that? Have you had that discussion? Uh, not really. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking more at, at an installation phase where you teach a system of football. Um, I think that's a, a general statement from for me to make uh, about our offense, our defense, or, or special teams. So uh, I think it's important to conceptually carry what you need into the season to, to compete throughout throughout the season. So uh, we'll still stay with that approach. Um, but you know, once again, I don't know when we're starting, and, and I think the start date will dictate exactly how much we do put in as opposed to how much we take out. Ability to work out uh, the group dynamics. Uh, involved in those types of sessions are healthy. So, uh, and that's that's more about team building, and and, and helping the younger guys in, in, in developing uh, as a group. But um, how much of it, which positions, and so forth, uh, it, it really varies from team to team. So uh, there is, there, but I think I think there's definitely value when when people do get together. Would you like to see your guys do that? Start doing that? Well, I'm not. I'm not aware because I can't communicate <laughs> with our guys, and so I don't. I'm. I'm sure they're working out hard. Uh, I, I trust and believe that they'll be prepared uh, when when they do come back. So, but as far as I know, uh, they'll do what they need to do. Er, you know, every one of our opponents is in the same position that we're in. So, uh, these are these are times that I would like to think I'll never see again in my career. Uh, it's it's a, it's a once in a lifetime type situation and it's unknown territory for everybody and, and we'll deal with it accordingly. Personally, I don't know if it's really hit me yet. I, I think it will hit me, you know, that evening because you don't really have the opportunity to celebrate as a, as, as a team uh, where if you were in a normal off-season program, you, you'd, you'd have the opportunity to be around, you know, most of your players and, 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 and relive the experience and, and have the, you know, the interaction that you normally have with any group of people after you accomplish something. So I'm really looking forward to the, to the ring ceremony, which I th I'm sure everybody is for a number of different reasons. More importantly, just to get together as a football team and an organization.